Hello students and welcome to Green Yard Practice. I'm here in our lab uh, all by myself uh, and I'm ready to do a little practice with you. I'm wearing my favorite shirt. Um, so let's do a little Green Yard Practice, shall we? In this first one, I have two examples. Let's start with 1A. In 1A, I've shown you the product. The product is 2-butanol. What I would like for you to do is write for me the organic reactants uh, that go with this one. So we're using the Grignard reagent. I'm looking for two different organic reactants, each that have fewer than four carbons. You see I have four carbons in my product. One of the reactants, as you'll recall, is a haloalkane. So one of them should be that. That's providing your nucleophile. The other one is going to provide your electrophile. Uh, there's more than one set of answers for this, so take a minute. Write down, see if you can get both sets of answers for the two different organic reactants that you would combine together to make this. Um, please pause the video while you're trying this out. If you just listen to me talk through the answer, it's not nearly as valuable as you actually trying it out. So go ahead and hit pause right now. I'll wait, and then we'll look at the answer. All right, hopefully you had time uh, to work on those answers. Let's look at this. When you're thinking about Grignard, remember the big idea for Grignard is we're making new carbon-carbon bonds, which means over here in the product, right, at the side of this alcohol, that's where the electrophile was, this carbon right here, one of these new bonds, one of these bonds must be new, right? And it could actually be either one, we don't know. Let's pretend like it was this one. If this is the new bond, right, if that was the bond that was formed, what was here and what was here? In this particular case, we have a two-carbon compound and another two-carbon compound. Let's go backwards. This one must have been where our C double bond O is, and this one must have been what? The haloalkane that became our Grignard reagent. So here are two different organic react, uh, reactants that will make this product. This one, of course, you would need to react with Mg in the presence of ether. And now these two can react together to form the product right here. There is, of course, another possibility. If we go back to our original compound, what if it wasn't this bond that formed? What if it was actually that bond that formed new? then we'd have a slightly different set of reactants. If this was the new bond that got formed, then this three carbon compound must have been our aldehyde. And what's over here? Just one carbon, right? That must have been a haloalkane. And then of course you could treat this to make this the Grignard reagent, react this with this. Do that last workup step where you add water to get rid of that alkoxide ion and make it here. So here is the other reactant for this one. Let's do the same thing with 1B. So over here with 1B, I have something slightly more complicated. Uh, why don't you see if you can write some reactants for this. The product looks like it has five carbons. So please use something that has fewer than five carbons. And why don't you see if you can do it in such a way where there are only two different organic reactants. So what two different organic reactants, when you combine them together in a Grignard reaction, can make this? Again, go ahead and pause the video, try it out. When you're ready, hit play, and we'll look at the answer. All right, that's probably enough time for you to work on that. Again, let's go back. Let's think. If we're, if we're doing Grignard, there must be new bonds being formed. We have a couple of different options. One option might be, right, we know the two carbons that we're looking at where new bonds we're forming are the ones where the alcohol groups are, right? That's how that works. This used to be the electrophile. The Grignard reagent was the nucleophile. So let's pretend like this was a bond that formed. And if we only want two reactants, we want it to be kind of symmetrical. So we could also say this was a bond that got formed, right? Which means we would be starting with something like this. So here's our three carbon reactant. And what must have been here and here? Those must have been the Grignards. So something like this. And then we could take this and react with Mg in the presence of ether to make this one carbon Grignard reagent. And this can react with this, 
right? We know we need a workup step where we add H2O, and that would make this. Are there other options, possibilities? For sure, right? Let's suppose, let's suppose these were the bonds that actually were formed in the Grignard reaction. How does that change what our reactants look like? Let's have a look. In that case, this is where our C double bond O was, and there's two of them. So we need this, oopsies, <laughs> not quite right. This times two, so two of these, and what else is missing? This one carbon piece, but it's gonna have to have two bromines on it, or two chlorines, in order to make your Grignard reagent, right? So here is another possible solution for this. There's more solutions possible, depending on which double bonds you chose, but those work.